I got an email a couple of weeks ago, and I just kind of wanted to touch on the fact that we're constantly bombarded. You know that we're bombarded by spam, but it seems that lately we're also getting a lot of these emails and we're getting uh, we're getting the the solicitor phone calls and stuff telling us that we've won this and we've won this all that we need to do is just answer a few simple questions or we've got to tell them a little bit of personal information and they always make it sound like it's okay it's fine to tell us this information we just need to know how many kids do you have well why do you need that info uh, and I never for the record I never filled out a form applying for a cruise at some dinner so that never happened. So I got this email a couple of weeks ago just saying, Dear winner, email sweepstakes program. This is to inform you that your email address attached to this reference number, blah, 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 sounds nice and formal, has won the prize sum of one million pounds. And they even put it in brackets just in case I don't know what a pound is or how to count. Uh, in an email sweepstakes program, blah, 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 it says that I've won this in the United Kingdom. Here's the information. Everybody spam away. Be careful. So this uh, came to me requesting my full name, my address, my contact information, country of origin, occupation, and age. Who needs this information? Who's selling this information to who? If you get these kind of emails from Jessica Joan, if you get these emails from anybody, just delete them. Don't ever forward them. And be careful when you're forwarding emails, too, uh, because certainly these kind of emails, they try to look professional. This one's a little sloppy, but... Uh, but sometimes they'll you know look really convincing I've gotten some from PayPal that look really convincing but when you look really closely at the headers uh, as somebody who understands that kind of thing you find out that this didn't come from PayPal, PayPal at all and if I had have clicked that link in the email it could have exposed my PayPal information to some third-party company or third-party hacker that wants my PayPal account information so we gotta watch out for that kind of stuff definitely and uh, if you ever run into something that you're not too sure about, I would suggest check out Snopes.com. It's spelt just like it sounds, but you can find it in Robbie's Favorites on the website, Category5.tv. Uh, but if you can't find it there, then forward it on to me live at Category5.tv just with a little message saying, hey, I'm wondering if this is legitimate or not, and I'll be happy to uh, review the, the email for you and just find out if it's, if it's legit or what I think about it. And uh, and certainly also when you're forwarding emails to people, I get this all the time, where people forward an email thinking it's okay to forward because the people in my list, you know, are are all people that I know and people who I trust. So you forward an email to, let's say, a dozen people, and if you're really good, you blind carbon copy them, right? Because that's what everybody knows to do. You blind carbon copy your friends because they don't want to receive spam. But when you look at the headers of that email, each one of those people now have an email from your email address. So if you think about that, you've saved your friends from potential spamming, but you've just added yourself. So if one of those people has a Trojan virus that's designed to obtain email addresses from their inbox, or if one of those people forwards it on to somebody who has that, your email address is now embedded in that email. So if it gets forwarded a hundred times, you know about compounding interest and things like that, it's the same sort of thing. It's it, all of a sudden the, your email address is in a million places. So we want to watch out for that because spam is a nasty thing and definitely is a big problem in today's internet world. John Robert laughing at chain mail in general. But chain mail, you say chain mail and you think about, you know, pyramid schemes and stuff like that. It's not always that simple. Sometimes it's just a lovely poem. So you forward on that lovely poem, and if you forward it to 100 people that think it's lovely as well, and you've BCC'd each one of those so they're safe, but then your email address is on everyone that they forward it to, as well as everyone else that you forward it to.